Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob here. In this video, I want to talk about thumbnails and how you can actually A-B test your thumbnails super easily using TubeBuddy. Before I dive right into my screen and show you how to do that using TubeBuddy, I think it's really important to understand how important thumbnails are right now to get more views to your videos. If you listen to any of the YouTube experts right now, they're just talking all about thumbnails, how they can double down on thumbnails, how they're A-B testing thumbnails, how they're testing different formats of thumbnails. This is really key to getting all those views for your videos. Okay, so now let's go into TubeBuddy. First of all, you will need the TubeBuddy legend plan to use the A-B test feature. Now here is the nice thing is that you don't have to pay for that legend plan for the first month. You can test it out and try out the AB test feature by going down into the description of this video to get a free trial of the legend plan. So you can start using the AB test feature for your channel right away. If you're new to using TubeBuddy, then you'll just have to take a few seconds to install it to your YouTube channel. Once you've done that, then you'll see at the top right here, right? beside the upload a video button, a TubeBuddy dropdown. So just go ahead and click on that and then open up the dropdown to website tools. You'll see AB tests right here. Click on that and that'll open up a new tab inside of your TubeBuddy account. This here is the manage AB tests page. You'll see that I already have an AB test happening right now. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a new AB test. So click this green button that says create AB test. And there are a couple quick steps here that we need to take before this AB test goes live. So the first thing is that I'm going to select which video I want to run this test on. And so I want to run it on this latest video that I just uploaded yesterday right here. Click on that. And then the second decision I have to make is which type of test would I like to run? Would I like to run just a thumbnail CTR test? basically just changing the thumbnail. There is another test that you can do, which is the metadata test. This is more for advanced users that want to test more than just thumbnails. This is for users that want to test titles, tags, and descriptions all in a single test. This is definitely for more advanced YouTube managers and creators. So I would highly suggest that you just go with the thumbnail CTR test, CTR meaning click-through rate. If you are interested in getting a tutorial on metadata tests, let me know in the comments and I will be happy to create a tutorial video for you on how to use that properly. So I'm going to click on select on the thumbnail CTR test option. So the next thing that you need to select is how long would you like to run this test for? The first option is to run it for a set number of days, 14 days, 30 days, 10 days, whatever you want. You can run it for a set amount of days. The second option, which I prefer more, is to run it until the click-through rate is statistically significant. With this option, this A-B test will run until one version of the test has a 95% or better chance of outperforming the other version of your thumbnail in the long run. And also when both the original and the variation of the thumbnails have at least 500 or more impressions. This version can be as quick as two days. That's the minimum length of this version of the A-B test. If you're getting enough views on your video, or it can last weeks depending on how many impressions your video gets. And it's also very important to understand that the winning version of your thumbnail will automatically be set once the statistical significance is achieved. Meaning again, there is one version of your thumbnail that has a 95% or more chance of outperforming the other version. So I'm going to select the this version, which is to run until the click-through rate is statistically significant. So there it is. I've decided the three things that I need to decide on whenever I create an A-B test for any of my videos using TubeBuddy. The first decision is which video would you like to run this test on? So I've chosen that video. What type of A-B test am I going to run? Is it just for thumbnails or is it for everything? All the metadata, the tags, the title, the description. For this version, I am only running the test on the thumbnail. And then the last thing that I needed to decide was how long would I be running this test for? Would I be running it for a set amount of days or until there is a statistically significant winner based on the number of impressions my video gets and also how that video is performing. So again, 95% or higher chance of one of the two versions outperforming the other one. All right, once I'm set there, I'm gonna click on continue. 
Now I'm at this page where I'm going to upload the other version of my thumbnail. So it's already picking up the one that is already set as the thumbnail as it is right now. So I'm going to look at my thumbnails. This is the two variations that I'm going to be testing. Same picture, same everything. The only thing I'm changing is the text. The original version says update week two, and then the variation says remote life update. Quick plug on easel, go check them out. This is my favorite graphic design tool. It's cloud-based. Just go to easel.com. There's a link down in the description. So once I've designed both of these thumbnails, I download it. I go back to this page. I click choose file. I know that this is the file right here. So I'm going to select that. It's going to upload. And there we have it. We have the two versions. We have the original version and then we have the test variation version. Now I'm just going to click start test and there's going to be a pop-up that says, are you ready to start? The test thumbnail will be applied to your video at midnight Pacific standard time, which is the time zone that I'm in. It will then alternate between the test and original every 24 hours while the test is running. Good luck. <laughs> so at this point, I just need to click yes, start the test. Is creating and it's live. There it is, your A-B test is now running. All right, hopefully that was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And if you wanna test out TubeBuddy, just go to tubebuddy.com forward slash Rob and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.